this is HT here. Today I'm going to review the upcoming events of Tower of Saviors, which are Starbuck Bus Power Release, New Transmigration, Transmigration of Memories, and New Character Wrong Captional Release. So now let us look at New Transmigrations of Memories, A Journey to Read the Heart. So in this transmigration, we will be using Nebula Rash to enter the stage and exploring the power of the memory box. So what is this memory box? So as you can see here, the memory box which will be used to replace our Dragonic Combustion, which is our Dragon Way. And also, we will be using this memory box in this whole transmigration stage. Also, this stage has active waves. Okay, active waves. But don't worry, we have some safe points at the specific waves. So no need to worry that you have to repeat again. So have from the 1 to 80. Okay? MH1 won't do like this. <laughs> it will be too over. Okay? But but we had to use the memory box up to repress our DW. So as you can see here, each team is allowed to equate a memory box at the most. And also this memory box will hold different skills which is will be runestone turning skills or other specific skills that which will be used in the battle. And also here there's one thing you need to remember that after equip all the memory box and pass each challenge rolls this memory box will be disappear. So that's one thing we have to alert on it. Okay? Especially those. Actually when we have to just like really carefully and use wisely on our memory box when passing the stash. So just like a way to know the stash first before we enter. Okay? So now here is the rewards. So as you can see we will get certain number of Nebula Wish and Mary Boss each day. Each day. So also summoner will be rewarded both these two things as well when they when we clear specific ways in the transmigration stages. And so we can exchange the reward by the new character grow Captional releases and also Medal of Transmigration of Memories S1 titles and etc. Maybe some rare material or other things. Nah. But never mind. So now let us look at this new character which we will be exchanging in the transmigration of which is Grown Capture Lilies, her leader skills. When the team has only machina, team attack time at HP at recovery time 1.8. If the team has only three or more than attributes, team attack time 1.8 additionally. So her leader is uh, normal, <laughs> normal, so we won't be using it. Okay, we won't be using it. So now let us look at her FT skills. So her skill was quite special, is a dual FT skills. So let's see the first one. FT skills 1, Machina Chases, CD10. Turn all runestones into enchanted Machina runestones. For two rounds, absorb the skill, attack damage, and damage received them from both skills, deducting a specific percent of summoner's HP, such as bloody six, etc. of the enemy in the round. Launch a dark counter attack as much as thousand percent, a thousand times. The assault attack to the enemy regardless of defense and enchanted shield. So this execution is almost, is actually same with Amaterra's and Diamond skills, which is this two round uh, absorbing the enemy in them. So, in the Machina whole Sika series, I can say this is the second one have this absorbing damage skill. For the first one is Shamashi, which her FT skill is just like so after being get hit will be deducting only 10 point damage. But when this list helps uh, maybe need for two rounds and above. Maybe such as enemy is C D3. And also her design will 100% die. So we might be use this for our CD, to wear our CD, where we can just like, have time to ready ourselves for the next set. So like I said, her FT skill one is quite good, especially now that uh, uh, Lily's HP is not so high, unlike the others. 
So this will be a good skill, a def good defensive skills to help his team. So now let's see her second skills. Fuel of Machina, 75%. If the character has 100% fuel after skill activation, the character skills CD negative 1. For one round, if the leader is grown, capture lilies and the first sanity saw lily, damage of Machina will be due regardless of anti shield first batch. Enemy specific damage reducing resistance. So her FT skills give me one impression is a combination of Machina Yen-C and Genos. So okay, now our Machina team have the second card that anti no shield. Okay, but a little bit disappointing is this FT skill it didn't give any team extra team attack. Unlike uh, Machina Yen C, although her skill is anti shooting uh, for first batch, but she at least gave the have extra team attack time too, while Lilies don't have. So it will be one condition happens is not enough damage after activation this skills if singly. So it will be not enough damage. That is what a little bit worrying now if Hopefully you will be used that. So by the second point, the specific damage reduce razor while Genesis has also have its own uh multiple attack. So this is a point a bit worrying about. Also the second point a bit disappointing is for the kaiter skill CD's negative one. I can say why don't you give extra two? Extra two of it. Maybe we can uh Made with combinations with Doleto, which have been feasted or skill advancement since last week about her, his, her, his skills, which let Machina CD negative after activations. So, we will be can be used or can be played, but right, it's because right now, since only CD skills one actually, it feels like not so good. They're also just like really used. It. Because in one round, if no one does the stash, most team now, their skill is just like when we enter the stash, all the CD skills are ready. And like, as you can see here, like Daji, Kaisa, this both of them, why they are still so strong because of this activation, this uh, CD reduction skill for the whole team, which helps a lot. Right? So, this is a bit disappointing now. But I can say voila, her card is still good since if those who don't have Genos Okay, especially because of the second part Genos while Lilith is afraid about as Lilith need at least this source 4 type of runestone to fulfill the full damage but suddenly so now, now that's the enemy shield will be the side if we dissolve more than 2 to 3 attributes the side then enemy defense so that up up uh up so that from 25 plus 25 like this which until 100 percent and then our damage will become zero la. so that's what i can say la. but i can say it's still worth to have train her so but try la. but her skill level is quite high so never mind we just like slowly la. at least we have her if those who have genos or stores who are still struggling to get a uh, machine agency also can get as well. Okay, but never mind. Now let us look at the next thing. 10th anniversary minigame, Mehat Treasure Trough. So as you can see here, this minigame will be open by starting by tomorrow. So it will be 10 levels in this minigame. And also each new level will be open by each day. And so in this game have four abilities right so four abilities as okay for here you guys can read by yourself so what i can look at here like, is think about mario super mario games <laughs> but maybe it's like uh tos versions okay so never mind it is i like, have a look so as you can see the reward given will be 20 spirit of so it was a white, white, white color one 
So it's just like up to 20 for if clearing all challenge meals. So I recommend you guys uh, go to play and try to get all the spirit up because it's so rare, especially this spirit up. <laughs> Okay, so for the ability, you guys just uh, have a look. As you can see, there are four of them. So you guys have can see. It. So now next, Relent Explosion. We have a new stages and some new character. Burger array from the Prison of Nightmares. So as you can see here, which will be tomorrow. We also have a new going through map. Okay, so what card which we are fighting is. Untruthful Dream Traitor, Maiden Nightmare. Okay, now let us see her FT skills. Sinking Dreamer, CD7. Hypnotize all enemies to inactive them for 2 rounds. Damage due to the hypnotized enemies time 1.5 additionally. For 2 rounds, recover 50% HP each round, but the zombie reason is necessary. So, her skills is a controlling skill, which is hypnotize the enemy but he is quite really dead the hypnotized dead won't affect the because unlike the unlike the others who those who have hypnotized skills will be easily just like just like some if we dissolve their own attribute they will just like immediately the enemy will be this control skill will be gone but for Madden I mean her this skill is just like nothing it's just like if Hypnotize directly without any effective buff. So is it worth to try or not? I can say it's just like a normal. But I'm sure that you guys at least can have one of it. Can have one just like standby or just like preparing if uh in the future I maybe the stage just like need hypnotize skills. If not just like damage for how much must so you guys just like standby it for your water team or your demon team. Okay, so now next, well, a new challenge mission, Whisper of the Luna's Love. So, as you can see here, which is Earth God Artemis, which will be a new challenge stage. Okay, also open by tomorrow, where we have two floors, okay, of each. So, now let us see her FT skills. Luna's Blessing CD7 Release the lock, the skills of the character and members of Red God series. The skills will not be locked, alter or enemy attribute into the character counter attribute for 2 rounds. For 1 round, got attack time 1.5. Damage will be due regardless of Trio, Elemental, Quad, Elemental and Queen Elemental Shield. When and Cluster Area are in the play, got attack time 3 additionally. For her skill, uh, a little bit disappointing is on her CD. That's really right now. Uh, for the lower skill on on the God King, we have Briandy, who is just the shortest one I can say since after the Vitro Rebirth CD three, CD three of unlocking skill for. For Artemis, I can say her value is the same. Mostly is the outer enemy attribute and also for the enclosed area extra damage. Lah. Only these two because sometimes uh, if we don't have other choices, uh, maybe uh, changing the enemy's attribute. So we can use this. But a little bit unfortunate is don't have control. It's just like me changing it directly. Okay, but sometimes it's useless, but sometimes it's not. So, is it worth to try or not? I can say, uh, no more. So, you guys just stand by one of it, just like pretty there. Alright. And so, hunting skills. Okay, if both leader and ally are gods, with blue sin, crimson, and in the team, Artemis will synchronize its attribute with that of the leader. So, it's just like basically, uh, just like seldom because now that's the good thing. If we need the counter attribute, we have bird, we have others as well. So it's just like it's just like the CD of Artemis is like too long already instead of others. So that's why I said it's just like normal. Okay, now.
Let us look at Starbucks series power release, which are these four characters first, which are Andromeda, Lynx, Purvis, and Lyra will be taken by tomorrow 12 noon. So these four characters will be entering first the power release stages. So now let us look at Andromeda leader skills. First, Starbucks and Water members attack time at HP and recovery time 1.8. Starbucks members and if attack time 4 additionally, by dissolving more than 3 types of runestones, damage receive negative 50%. By launching attacks of more than 3 attributes, skills series of if negative 1 at the end of the rounds. Also, her team skill as well. So, with the conditions, the leader is Andromeda. Team skill Andromeda skill CD negative 5 after entering a stage. Star attack bonus plus 100% from combos man. Extend rune moving time by 3 seconds. Hard rune stones also purpose 300% effect of all attribute rune stones. Modify the rune stones touch while moving to if rune stones. By dissolving if rune stones, team attack time 3. Damage received from scorching areas and net damage negative 99%. So First, her leader skill, I can say, is still can, uh, she can be formed by two teams, which are Starbucks with full members, and also water team, water members as well. But maybe a little bit limitations are because her second and the fourth point is that I mostly buff the if team. And also, she also can only fit water if, which will be limited la, for the member. But never mind, at least she can put the other water members as well. So, about her leader skill, I can say is normal, but her team skill is like adding more damage, actually, with attack bonus plus 100%, and also hard runestone purposes 300% of the effects, and also by this will be ill runestone team attack time 3. So, this just like this three things is just like buff lead. Uh, aggro mana attack and damage for the whole team. And also, it's quite special and really see that because uh, damage received from Kochi area and that damage negative 99%. So, for the Kochi area, since uh, the Black God Daji, so if those who have heard, so users are already know so that how important actually if things is like their HP is like quite low and then actually the Kochi area nowadays is like 20,000. Or more, even I guess the official will be more and more to like the damage. So it's quite rare that her team skill give scorching area and so the dead damage to the buffing. So for the damage, we mostly use Severia to counter, but because of her uh, her team skill, so we might be just like no need to bring Severia to, into the teams. Okay, so now let us look at her FT skills. First, Starbucks members attack time 1.5. Starbucks members and if damage cap overpowered an enemies by dissolving attributes rune stones, the character launch an extra attack of each attribute this after by dissolving half the character launch an extra non attribute attack. So the skill will stay in the play until defeated or deactivations. While the while the evitation the skills turn all the rune stones into enchanted water. Fire, Earth, Light, Dark, Heart in the face numbers. So on her FT suit, I can say the quite a big changes is uh he gives extra dimension is uh 1.5 for the Star Wars member, including herself as well. And also the damage can be overpowered the, the enemies, which means that either side uh the extra dimension extra damage directly 1.5. So it will be a quite high damage also. A uh, launching around six six times extra damage which if we dissolving five attribute. Oh no, sorry, it's six attribute including the hard rune stones as well. So either like it can launch in the extra damage on fire, water, earth, light, dark, and also the non-attribute. So it will be six times in plus her first herself attack, so it will be seven times of the damage. 
So it's like a really buff fit also with the CD CD5 as well. So if we use the if dragon way lah to deduct her skill CDs, right? You the faster way is like CD3. We can use these skills. Also, we have a full fixed border enchanted uh all attribute. So we can counter the queen enchanted queen elemental shield, or maybe you just I like, can give uh the number of shoe like because it's fisted and also counter the full uh these are all runestone shoes so it's a great skill as it went after buffing i can say so those who have her can paralyze her lah. so it will be tomorrow uh, noon 12 so you guys can stand by so now let, now let us look at links Alright, her leader skills. When the team has only Starbuckers members or Beast member, take attack time at HP time 3. For each type of runestone disrupted, two enchanted Beast runes will be generated by dissolving Beast runestones, take attack time 5 additionally. So now let us see her team skills. When both leader and ally are linked, CD skills of Beast negative 5 after entering a stage. As they move in times by 3 seconds for each star runes dropped up and or beast resource dropped up, recover HP 5% until HP is full. Effect of dark runestone increases by 150%. Dark and hard resource also propels the effect of runestone of the attribute of Starbuck first members and the beast in the team. By dissolving more than 6 dark runes, Team attack time 5 damage will be due regardless of defense. And also here, when links with only Star first members or Dark Beast in the team, skill CDs of all members negative to after entering a stage. So for her leader skills and team skills basically max her uh max links are have high damage and also high HP type teams. But a little bit unfortunately, he didn't give her any puzzle side. Uh, regardless of the puzzle skill in her leader skills or her team skill, it's just like a little bit uh, normal, la, just like normally. So, this is what I can say. If you guys want to use her as a beast leader, I can say it's just a temporary version. Temporary version thing. Since uh, there are a lot, just like Kaisa, Metagoromon, Okari. So I just like you guys is like if you really don't have a good uh beast leader, so you guys can use her. Uh. Alright, so now let us look at her FT skills. For one round, by tapping a runestones on the magic circle of elements, that types of runestones also propose the effect of all attribute runestones. The first way of runestone to withdraw the after dissolving runestones will be in channel runestone of that type. Damage will be due regardless of Pistol's combo shield and defense. By this will be more than 20 runestones, Starbuckers members and Beast members attack time 2. If both leader and ally are Starbuckers members or Beast members, the character skills CD negative 2. So, as you can see here, her FD skill uh, is more useful instead of her. Uh, it is skill and team skill, so she is a good beast member in and for now currently yeah, and the future as well, especially for the first play because uh, now that uh, she can counter the accumulate type room, maybe just like uh, 30 fire, 30 water, especially in the stage for the Yen Seas if you guys have fighting, you guys can realize it. Uh. So this is a great use uh, for the base member to counter this kind of shoes. Alright. Also also he can be a great member for the Kesa team. Also for Metagoro Monk as well and Kaloi team as well. So I can say her this skill is just I recommend to train. So those who have I also recommend to PR her uh, for her as a base members. So now let's look at the next character. Curses, his FD skills. Explore dark, light and dark to generate enchanted god 
enchanted fire god runes, explore fire and earth to generate enchanted heart god runes. For run one, fire and heart also propose the effect of each other's god attack time 1.5 and damage will be due regardless of Vistos combo ship. So, okay, I said the first thing is. His city skill is too long, basically it's too long, especially for the exploding part. Because how did the exploding part just have uh, minimum is 5 or 6 like this, or mostly 5 I can say. But I think the only value of only um, this, only the god damage regardless of faces combustion. But I think mostly won't be used because uh, regardless of physical combo, just like actually easier to counter with the with the full board, uh, just like with the board type card uh, to counter. So I can say this like wow, he's, he's this is just like gone. And so because of his CD, it's just like he can't like use this a lot. So I can say it's like no need to train, <laughs> no need to train him. But I can say because. For the gold team, for the gold leader, la, as you can see, this is like Magna Angel Mon. His team skills is like have already, uh, or oh, no skill. His, his skills are, uh, just like Takaru and Hikari, sorry, not Angel, uh, Magna Angel Mon, it's Takaru and Hikari. Just like both of their, uh, their skills have, regardless of his combo. So it's like, you know, to worry about it. And also for, for Trio, he also had, Fist up ball, alright. He also has the fist up ball, so he just no need to we just no need to worry about it, or we just no need to and we use a baseball to counter, alright. So I no sorry comment. Now. Next for Lyra, our last character PR. So her active skills: God enter or stay in a hyper stats for two rounds. Turn 4 to 7 runestones into Enchanted Heart. Attribute the runestone not of the members, attribute ram first in priority. If there are more than 4 or equal 4 gods in the team, the chance of turning 7 Enchanted Heart greatly increases. So I think the users of this skill is only the shortest CD to enter a hyperstats. Okay, for the god members. Alright, well, uh, I can say how do you give at least a uh, accumulator type, especially for the second and the third part, just uh, at least we can counter the 30 to uh, 20 to 30 uh, accumulator heart resistance skill. That's what I can say. Uh. So, if you guys want to train, I can say yeah, yes. If you guys don't want, I also can. It's just like basically if you. Uh, if you need this hyper stats up for your design for your future team or content any suit so you guys can train if you don't want you can just uh, leave it there you can use us when or you guys want to be out when you also can so I did this for today events so as you can see here so for tomorrow so it is quite a low event so I think this for today Thank you for your watching, this is Hattie, see you next time, goodbye.